Hey guys, Tide Witch here, and I wanted to uh, share a quick recipe with you. This is for my love oil, and um, this oil pretty much is intended for someone who is already in a relationship or a marriage, and maybe you're having some issues, and you need to fix, you know, some things, or maybe you've lost the spark and want to bring that back. This will help. Um, it will help heal the relationship and strengthen and protect the relationship. You can wear it or you can even anoint candles to use in spell work. Um, I've been married for close to 20 years now and it has been amazing, but there have been times where it ha has been horrible and downright ugly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I actually have how to use this recently and I'm just so pleased with the outcome that how can I not share so these are the ingredients here I'm gonna go over those with you one at a time and explain the properties uh, let's see is there anything else I can say before I begin nope so let's just do this all right so right here we have lavender which is for love protection and happiness we have cardamom for lust and love. We have roses here for love and protection. Damiana also for lust and love. Uh, we have cloves here for protection and love. Hibiscus for lust and love. We have rosemary for protection, love, lust, and healing. And then we have some dragon's blood here for protection and also to help return lost love. Um, over here we have some border dirt for protection and to keep negativity out, maybe, maybe keep out your pesky in-laws. I know I've had some issues, so yeah, I just won't go into that. We have some jasmine for love. Right here we have a little sprig of forget-me-nots to keep your lover close to heart and keeps you on his or her mind. Um, right here we have some little rose quartz chips for protection, love, and one of the goddess associations is Aphrodite. Then here we have some garnet chips for love, passion, protection, and also deepens the commitment between two people. So let's get started. Here's a small batch um, of my love oil that I made quite a while ago, and I don't make it in very big batches, but um, I'm going to make another batch right now, so I will have plenty. <laughs> I'm going to be using this jar, that way it's easier for you to see. And as for the ingredients, I've had these sitting on an altar for about a week and a half. And I will go by and put my intent, my energy, my love into these herbs. I will speak the properties of each herb. And um, they're just powerful and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the jar. As I do that, I'm going to be speaking words, but I'm going to speed up the video so that I don't bore the heck out of you. All right, now we've got all of our herbs placed and aren't they beautiful? So beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with grapeseed oil. You can use the oil of your choice, but I'm gonna go ahead and use grapeseed oil. And then I have this cute little heart cut out, um, but I want to put three in this one for some reason, so I'm going to go ahead and place three hearts in my love oil, and um, I have a love sigil, so I'm going to go ahead and place that inside. I'm going to fold it three times towards me because I want to bring the love into my marriage. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my love sigil in there as well. And the other two things are totally optional. Um, it's already beautiful as is, but I'm going to add some rose um, fragrance oil. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little tiny scoop of this fine powdery glitter because I'm like a squirrel and I like shiny things. Squirrel. <laughs> And then just give a little shake. And there is your oil. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I have these chalk labels. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this with a chalk label. And I have chalk, so I'll write down what this is. I love chalk labels because you can reuse the jars and just write on it what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so there it is. It's all done and ready to go, and it's gorgeous. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And please, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Bye.